Heroes, it's your boy Wim Bethea, back at you. You know where we at, think about comics, all right? It's another street report from the multiverse. Hey, I had to get you back into the gala, X-Men 21. Yo, <laughs> this one got everything in it. This was phenomenal, and I'm telling you right now, following along this gala, every part of it has been a hitter. This is what we wanted to see, especially in this X title. Because this title is letting us know, look here. Number one, Namor. Yo, my man is, is not understanding the totality of the players he's dealing with. Okay? Yo, I don't know what's up with Namor, man. I don't know what's up. I know he's arrogant. But yo, the boy ain't understanding. It's a whole island of hitters. This is a whole island of hitters. And he like underestimating Xavier Magneto like these dudes don't know, don't know that the streets is hot. But it's okay. Because I'm telling you, Namor gonna find out, because he bring it up in this, how much of the earth he controlled through the water. Okay, player, you fitting to find out how effective these X-Men gonna be. And I'm telling you, this title lets you know Xavier and Magneto have come up with a plan. And at the end of this gala, the world going to know that they are dealing with stuff out in space. Okay? Yo, this issue bring up every key point you need to know about this series. It do. It, I mean, it, it, is, it brings it up. The new X-Men, the new team, which I'm so happy. You know, my boy Cinch in it. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Polaris in it, which is amazing. We got a little Wolverine in it. You know, she doing her thing. You know, we need that. We need that. You know what I'm saying? And, yo, this is going to be interesting because you got Rogue there too. And Rogue and my boy Gambit. Gambit going to stay with Excalibur. And Rogue going to be on the X-Men. So we not gonna have that 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 problem, you know. Sometimes when we go a little too hard, you know, we gonna be following the team structure. It's gonna be beautiful. Hey, look, and it's got Cyclops and Jean Grey as captains. So yo, I'm telling you, this was beautiful. I right? Emma Frost going in everybody's head and showing them space and whatever that was at the end, which leads me to believe. Yo, we talking extraterrestrial, we talking all planet, having a crib, make sure we effective out there in the planetary, you know, in the universe. Hey, hey, this is what it's supposed to be. And I tell you what, look, Namor, you want it, you can find it here. I'm trying to tell you, this is what the title's supposed to be about. All right, now, last thing I want to leave you with is this, which... I find totally incredible. I not only, not only are the Avengers understanding, because you see them in the background, they like, yo, what's up? What, what we see, right? Nah. You know what we see? We see these dudes understanding that look, not only are policies getting made, and not only do they know, they know that these countries are vying for them. The X-Men know, the mutants know, that look, it don't matter how hard or how crazy it's going to get, they're going to stick together. Because what you see when they pick the X-Men is how many of these cats want to be X-Men. How many of these mutants really all in on this. And that is a thing that the world, the universe, is going to definitely pick up on. As this series goes along. Hey look. This your boy Wim Bethea. We talking X-Men. It's Think About Comics. Like, share, subscribe. You know. You love this love. You love it. I do. Alright y'all. Peace.